presents. Thank you, Lord. This is a very, very special trip for me. This is my 22nd trip to Africa. But on this trip, I brought my sons, Jimmy and James. <laughs> I was looking at him and said, you're shaking. He said, I'm excited. <laughs> that's, that's something, even at, at this stage in the game at our ages, man. Are you kidding me? My name's Colorado. I've been hunting my whole life, guiding, outfitting, and hunting. Where in the world? 30 years now, I've made my living outdoors. Somewhere in the outback. We're in Mongolia. Hello, Argentina. Right on the El Bicho. Red Square, Moscow, Russia. Howdy, Colorado. Back. Welcome to New Zealand. Where you know, in the world? I just love it so much. I'm going to keep on loving it if it don't kill me. If I had it my way, I'd take the whole world on We are in Joe Bird, O.R. Tambo. This is the first big jumping off point. This time, this is my 22nd trip to Africa. Probably my most memorable trip of all of them put together. TDK Safaris, and I've known these people for a long, long time. What, what makes it special for me is I'm coming to see my friends, and I'm bringing my sons, and we're bringing some other friends of ours with us. We are, this is it. We are at the location. <laughs> We started three days ago, and we're here. <laughs> we started TDK five years ago in 2012. Uh, we are situated in the Limpopo province of South Africa in the Waterberg Mountains. We have over 16 huntable species of South African animals to hunt. Uh, they range anywhere from small plains game, your spring buck, impala, uh, up to eland. Uh, we will be starting to do Cape Buffalo hunt in our 2017 season. And they've got great game, they've got a beautiful, beautiful ranch, and uh, the terrain you're going to know, you're going to have a full flavored taste of Africa, is what you're going to have. They're probably the, the number one go-to place, in my opinion, for first-time safari people. If you've never been on a safari, they've really focused on that trip. kidding me? That's literally like a 22. I've shot seven mags and they hurt. What in the world? Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Where in the world is Colorado Buck is brought to you by CheaperThanDirt.com Armscore USA and Rock Island Pistols Carlson's Choke Tubes, The Shooter's Choice. Norma Ammunition, Precision Ammunition for the Serious Hunter. Worldwide Trophy Adventures, The Mule Deer Foundation. Kenetrek Boots, Wild Bill's Taxidermy, The Horseshoe Outfitters in Quebec, Canada. ACI and the Ammo and More Store in Stevensville, Montana. And the Colorado Buck Special Edition Rifle by the Montana Rifle Company. David Hale named him, nicknamed him Spike, so we've been calling him Spike ever since then. But Jimmy was the first one to take a take an animal, he got a Gims buck, and he did a superb job. You're gonna go right up with the pH. And the coat is gonna come, and then you're gonna be behind him. And then you're gonna be behind him. And I'm gonna fall back behind y'all.
number one things I wanted to get when I was over here was a Gims buck, and we go out that evening, me and Dakota and dad and brother, and the first rattle out of the box is what I've been looking for. They're down the center walk, they're walking towards the zone, that's in front of us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna walk up here a little bit, set you up, and when you're comfortable, this should be crossing. First animal is a gims bug. People that's hunted over here know gims bugs are one of the toughest animals in Africa per size. Nowhere. It was a good shot. The ammunition performed like it's supposed to. Spike performed like he was supposed to. You made a great shot. I never, I may, I don't know when I seen him more excited. Congratulations. First animal in Africa. He was, I was looking at him and said, you're shaking. He said, I'm excited. <laughs> that's, that's something, even at, at this stage in the game at our ages, man. He had uh, wanted that uh, Gims buck for as long as I can remember, and he got it right off the bat, and he was so happy about it, and to experience that with him was every bit as uh, satisfying as doing it myself. <laughs> Uh -huh. I, <laughs> you literally couldn't have drawn that any better. Uh -huh. That was absolutely perfect shot, Jimmy. It's golden. We start shooting the Norma ammunition. It's it's the best brass, the best components, and that's what we hear. And then we got out here in the field, and it was it, brilliant. I don't know what else to call it. And I'm saying that straight from the heart. There, there's no other way to put it. When you're in North America and a lot of other places, I like a high shoulder shot. That's, you take out both shoulders and the spine. The animals in Africa, they're, they're adrenaline filled. And they're anatomically, a lot of them are different. And this is just one of those animals. The, their heart's right in the bottom of their chest. So what he's done by that low shot, he's broke the shoulder, took out the heart, and he's seen that this gimbuck, he didn't go anywhere. That's why. To watch them be excited like that and sit in there and get some pictures with him, talk to him about it, that's priceless. We'll never forget that. Never will. You got your first African animal. Yes, sir. I'm, this is Tickle. Congratulations, Thank buddy. Thank you, guys. Yeah. An absolutely <laughs> awesome shot. <laughs> all right, and the Oryx. We're hunting with the Oryx bullets. We've got all Norma ammunition over here for everything we're hunting with. And the Oryx, we used an Oryx bullet and took an Oryx. This is great. <laughs> you know, flying over here, by the time we got halfway, I was wondering what in the world I had committed to. I was ready to get off that airplane. <laughs> but getting here and getting to experience this and Meet these people and this this different culture has wow. You got if you ever think about coming, get on the plane. It's it's worth the ride. Follow all the action on Facebook at Where in the World is Colorado Buck? Normal day here at TDK consists of waking up at around 6:30 in the morning, having breakfast by 7, and then we head out into the field. Um, we'll hunt until about noon. We come back, um, Annette cooks us up some lunch, and then we spend about two hours until about two o'clock, uh, just relaxing and letting the animals get back up, because that's about the heat of the day, so they're bedding down. Um, then we go back out, we go back out till about 5.30, um, come back, it's about a half an hour before uh, sunset, and then we have a delicious dinner, some dessert, and then we sit by the campfire until the clients are ready to go to bed, and then we get up and do it all over again. Day two, my hunters today are the most excited I've ever met in my life. And then, James, it's his turn. This was literally his first big game animal, and we had several failed attempts. Uh, we'd spot something to get in. It's just like walking on Kellogg's cornflakes out there, Rice Krispies, just every, I mean, you could hear for hundreds of yards. 
We had several failed attempts, one after the other. You just, there's no way you can go through that brush quiet enough to, to get a shot and not spook the game. But we kept trying, and we finally got to, to an edge, kind of an opening where the brush and met there. He was excited, I knew he was excited, but I think because of so many failed attempts, one after the other, he just wanted to, to, to get a shot, see if he could do and he made a great shot, absolutely great shot. I had his guidance the whole time. I had um, him kind of coaching me and encouraging me, and uh, it was just awesome. And I kind of understand why everybody loves to hunt with him. After uh, my brother James shot his blessed buck, we were approaching approaching that area, and uh, there was a bigger one. So you know brother love. I had to get it just because. <laughs> so we ended up taking a, a double trophy there that was just, it was great. It was um, just one of those moments, you know. And this is why you go to Africa. There's, what, maybe a handful of places in the world that you can go and have the opportunities to take many different species of game. Even if you blow a stalk, that doesn't mean that you can't pick it up and take it again or run into no telling how many animals in the process. We started out twice on the stock for one animal. It went bust, ended up with some other ones. We were not hunting blessed buck, and as you can see, there's two blessed bucks here. So that makes that makes hunting Africa about as good and exciting. It's never a dull minute. First timers are people that want to come back and hunt species of plains game that they don't have. PDK is absolutely a, a, a point of interest for you. I've hunted with the guys and, and Miss Lisa a lot, and they're, everything's top shelf watching them boys take their first animal while looking at the uh, their expressions <laughs> watching them shake and I mean it was it was I don't know what I could have done to enjoy this as much as I have watch them two hunting together shooting their guns together everything I hope for happened here this is a day in all my career I'll never forget. Both my sons with me, both of them taking their first animals. You can't ask for nothing more. A father can't, there's just nothing you can do to enjoy what I've enjoyed today. There's nothing more that you can do. We love, we love to have first timers here in Africa because it allows us to experience it again for the first time as well. And so we get to share in the excitement and the, the wonder in people's eyes. Uh, this is just an amazing place to share with people and especially for the first time. But even if you've been here more than once, it never gets old. Where in the world is Colorado Buck is brought to you. 30 years ago. Well. Thank you for blessing us with this wonderful group of people um, that we can share and uh, share stories and hopefully continue to be friends for the remainder of our days, Lord. We spotted this kudu, and we've been we've been hunting this kudu for for a while. Been looking for him, and Dakota said, "Man, right there he is." You know, it was just just the heat of the moment. It was a, a fast action deal. We had to get in there, get set up, put a little stock on him. Um, made a great shot. The bullet just destroyed. It worked out great. Just like your dad told you. Good job. <laughs> That's a dead kudu. That's a good shot. Okay. That's a pretty kudu, huh? son. Fuck you. <laughs> We've utilized.
utilized all the methods. We've high racked, we've stalked, we've we've done about everything you can do. Watch the water holes, but uh, if you know what, if you just keep trying, there's a little picture of what can happen in it, son. Yes, sir. We've been through this more than once in our life, ain't we? <laughs> what do you think your cutie? I love him. He's great. I think we get back. Miss Lisa's got a couple big old hugs coming, don't you? I do. Definitely. Here we go. You know, one of the things that, that I that was special here, there's uh, uh, Bow Water is the closest area to here, and there's a uh, there's a group of kids there that they get together and they, and they dance, and it's a school, and they, they teach them a lot of things, how to work together, get along together, dance together, and they're all different ages and sizes. Having them come out and show us their dances was pretty cool. There was some of them little ones out there that, man, I, you can't help but just enjoy watching. They're they're in it. They got. I wish I had that energy, but I don't. But watching them is it, really was something special. It's, I think everybody there will remember that. Actually got up. I thought they won't shake hands. They won't drag us out on the, and they did, drug us out on the the dance floor. <laughs> all kinds of different directions. So I thought, you know what? Here's the opportunity. I'm going to teach them how to do two steps. <laughs> now this way. One. Now this way. Two. One. Two. Now back. There you go. There. Now one. There you go. Now you go. There you go. There's something else I want to I want to show you. This is a a redeemable coupon with every Colorado Buck special edition rifle that you buy. This will come in your box. And what it is is a TDK $1,500 redeemable certificate off of a safari. So you buy your rifle, this comes in it, and if you do want to go on safari, this is a great little coupon to take with you. There's no way that we can make just all this wrapped up into one show. You just have to leave way too much out. So uh, this is a, a two-part show, and this is, this is the end of the first part, but you've got to please join us next week and, and follow this till its conclusion. I don't know if Colorado Bucks nerves can take much more of this. <laughs> a rookie mistake. He's a beauty kid, you that don't even know what you're going to Closed captioning provided by Rock. Where are you out watching? Very good. Yes, sir. What is this about? I got to get a rhythm. <laughs> <laughs> I teach everybody Johnny Cash. When I'm done, all these little kids will have the rhythm.